And if we were like connecting that to like something over here. <laughs> Some info down here, but I think it connects to something over here. <laughs> All right, so now we have to set this up. <laughs> wait, wait. How not level is that? Okay, cool. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. That actually hey, that works great. Yeah. And that nail's probably more in there than this thumbtack yeah. is about to be. <laughs> you have like four hammers behind you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, good point. And it's like five points. That is the biggest of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're doing precision <laughs> shit here. It's a historic home. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have a lot of numbers to crunch. We're gonna have, yeah, exactly. It's, it's gonna be a busy night. We have a chair. Do you need a chair? Oh, I need my laptop. Because we're holding on Okay, when we sit down, it is just our heads, but that is okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Honestly, it kind of adds to how fucking shitty it looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I okay. feel like we should do like a preliminary. I was gonna say, I think we should have like a, a like, tiny bit of prep for it. I'm glad I have you doing this with me because the math one is the one that I was not looking forward to. <laughs> the good thing is we can get the math wrong and people <laughs> won't know if it's <laughs> Part we, of the bit or not. We should just throw one in there that's like really wrong. <laughs> we like, should. like really fucking wrong. Some jump where it's like this, which is two times this, which it just completely isn't. Yeah. <laughs> is there another pad of paper? What do you mean? There's a pad right here. Okay. So what I've been working on. <laughs> I'm gonna use, this is from college. Oh. That's from one of my forestry classes. Oh, I'll, I'll use this. You can use the, the that guy. August 31st, 2021. How many notes did I take in this book? In Cord, probably. In this forestry class, this is how many notes I took. Does this look like cord to you? Looks like it says cow. It does look like it says cow. Or, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we're pretty much ready to go. There's a, there's a key ingredient. There's a key there's ingredient a, here. There's something. The one problem is we are in the one room with a smoke detector. That could be changed. <laughs> <laughs> but this in a safe place. I'll keep it in the microwave. <laughs> um, so my thought is we can sort of use this as like our master sheet. Yeah. So maybe we write down like the volume of it, the yeah. height of it, the length yeah. of all the sides, like all like the statistics of it. I mean, okay. we could we could also throw in some other like, you know, like how much it cost to build it, what yeah. year it started, yeah, because yeah, like yeah. we have all that information. Chat GPT, give me all of the stats <laughs> of the Bass Pro Shop <laughs> Honestly, Pyramid. That would be a great way to do it. That would be great. Just ask Chat GPT. The Bass Pro. Damn, it's going off. I said, what are all the numbers associated with the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid? Give me the height, the size, the cost, the capacity, attractions. That's not a number. <laughs> Eat. Stunning view of the Mississippi River. That would not fly in number. Oh, what's your number? Oh, a stunning view of the Mississippi <laughs> River. Fuck you. <laughs> um, species. The, pyramids, Pyramid. <laughs> the Pyramid's indoor swamp is home to more than 600,000 gallons of water and houses various fish species. Well, that's, that's something, 600,000 gallons it of water. It says more than. More than. Can okay, so any number? <laughs> any number greater than 6,000. It's like a wild card, it's a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. It's in Memphis, right? Yeah. Oh. Memphis, Memphis. like Memphis, Egypt? Bro. We haven't even smoked weed yet. This is too easy. <laughs> it's 321 feet tall. That's pretty suspicious. 321? Yeah. I mean, think about that. 90s, oh, another thing we need to do is go between like meters and feet when convenient. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We should give like all of the things in like different units. <laughs> Start reading me some numbers. Let's go. Okay. Hold on. Let from me let me get a from from ChatGPT alone. We don't need a high bar of entry for this. Um. Okay. Um, the height is 321 feet. Covers an area of 535,000 square feet. According to ChatGPT. <laughs> It reportedly cost around $195 million. Can accommodate up to 10,000 people. <laughs> oh my God. Occupancy up. <laughs> Could you give me people in metric? <laughs> French people. <laughs> okay. The retail space within the pyramid spans around 20,438 square meters. Square meters. Yeah, I'm with but, you. But I mean, they probably picked that for a reason, knowing that that's how many meters it would have been. They're ahead of the game. They're trying to. They're trying to hide. Exactly. This we have to look in, into layers yeah. of this. I yeah. mean, we should start measuring things in like fucking fathoms. Yeah. Or um, what's that guy? Smoots. Smoots. Yeah. All right. We gotta have. We, <laughs> we have to throw a smoot in, in there. <laughs> Good. How does this look? 
Can you, can you read it? You know what? It doesn't even matter. They don't need to read it. We need to read it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid houses the Big Cypress Lodge. Okay. Which offers over a hundred rustic themed rooms and suites. What's that in smoots? <laughs> <laughs> over a hundred is a little too vague here. I'm gonna ask for specifics on how many rooms. How many rooms? Okay, sounds good. Oh, just over a hundred? Really? Over a hundred. That's actually wild. There's a lodge inside the pyramid. Yeah, the Cypress Lodge. I knew they weren't tombs. See? <laughs> it was a hotel. Yeah, there, there were suites the whole time. <laughs> it said the pyramid's indoor swamp is home to more than 600,000 gallons of water and houses a variety of species of fish, alligators, and turtles. So how much water? 600,000 gallons. And how many species? It just said a variety. It could be any number we want it to be. <laughs> I'm not getting a number. ChatGPT is dodging the question. Maybe they're in on I it. I think it's part of the government cover-up. <laughs> a couple basic numbers. We, we got some really important okay, ones, like need... occupancy, retail yeah. space. Yeah. But okay. we should get some of the lesser ones. Yeah. You know, like how like, many aisles? <laughs> what departments are in Yeah, store? what department? Who's working there right now? <laughs> Capacity or like volume. I know we, we, we started this as a joke, but. Oh no. It said the exact volume of the indoor swamp within the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee is not readily available in public sources. That is a us. smoking gun oh right my there. God. Okay, we need to. We're putting that pin up on the board and then right it's now. Going back into saying there's six hundred thousand gallons okay. of water. We we We've know. Been over we'll give them a okay. chance. Okay. Wait, but they just said it was six hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna okay. put a little okay. question mark next yeah. to this. Citation yeah, needed. Yeah. That might be. That might just be the number they tell people. Yeah, but we don't actually know. We don't yeah. know how deep it goes. Yeah. Drain the swamp. <laughs> there's something in the swamp <laughs> in the Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> Using the numbers that ChatGPT already gave me to calculate it on its own. 1,631,477 cubic meter. It said this is a rough estimate. A rough estimate? It ends with an odd number. <laughs> that is absolutely not a rough estimate. <laughs> Do we have like the length of the like, the oh, sides? Yeah. Um, 731. Point five eight feet. Is ChatGPT doing math based on the numbers that it already told us? I believe it. So I, I don't need to check accurate. it. Yeah, I mean, we're making a pyramid conspiracy here. Yeah. We don't have to think into it too much. Okay. What are the coordinates? coordinates? We need the coordinates. Yeah. We absolutely need the coordinates. Thirty-five degrees point one four nine five north. Ninety point zero four nine zero. Man, that's pretty close to ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible to get the length of the? I was wondering. The, the slope? I don't give a shit about the Pythagorean theorem. Give me <laughs> 895.89 feet. I feel like that's a good jumping off point. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm confident with that. Honestly, maybe just a quick Bass Pro Shops pyramid wiki page. Yeah. Search. See if there's anything else that, Anything you know, that stands out? Looks a little, little, little suspicious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it fits in a little too well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> right. The address? One Bass Pro Drive. <laughs> oh, dates. Dates. What am I thinking? Oh Holy my shit. god. Wait, one Bass Pro Shops Drive? <laughs> yeah. Groundbreaking. September 15th, 1989. Opened. November 9th, 1991. And this could be key. <clears throat> I almost looked over it, but it was renovated between November 2011 and April of 2015. Do we really think they were renovating, renovating in yeah. there? Renov for how many years was that? That was for four years. Bullshit. Absolutely Re not. And we renovating? don't even know how deep the swamp is. <laughs> also, if I were fact check checking, I would say that the cost is wildly off, <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cost on there? The original cost was 65 million. <laughs> oh my and God. Adjusted to 2022 is 125 million. <laughs> so it's wrong either way. <laughs> okay, there's some former uses and events that I think we could dive into later. In 2001, the city of Memphis attempted to relocate the Vancouver Grizzlies. Uh, while the pyramid was functional and profitable, it would have required retrofitting in order to be a viable long-term venue for an NBA franchise. Oh. A retrofit would have required taking the arena offline for a year. Wait, so I'm hearing that they were scared to close the pyramid for a year then, but they but, closed it for four years yeah. for renovations? Yeah. And one of the things they changed was the, the television cameras. I think there was something they didn't want us to see. No, that sounds fucking shady. There was probably a time when all of the cameras in the place weren't working. I mean, they just said there was grizzlies in there. That sounds <laughs> dangerous. The Memphis City Council voted to keep the arena open in 2004. A committee headed by Memphis businessman Scott Ledbetter studied possible uses. <laughs> Scott Ledbetter. <laughs> that is not how you spell that, is it? 
Scott Ledbetter. That is exactly how you spell it, actually. Fuck <laughs> yes. That is how it is done. Scott Ledbetter, I am on to you. Interesting. So they were considering a casino, aquarium, a shopping mall, or a theme park. But they decided to go with Bass Pro, the Bass Shop, Pro Shop Pyramid. Keep that in the background. Oh, we're going to keep that one in there. Back. We're gonna <laughs> Pay attention to that one. In 2020, 2011, a drawing of the pyramid <laughs> alongside images of iconic structures in Tennessee's three other large cities. Into the standard design of Tennessee's state-issued driver's license. Bro. Bro. Pyramid on the... Dude. It was, it was right, right in front, front of, us. of us. Oh my god. This is not an omission of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a time that I was not 21. <laughs> and... A form of identification <laughs> found its way into my custody. That happened to have my same name on it. Was, it was a stroke of luck. It happens. It happens. I'll give you one guess. What state? Do you think that form of identification was in? As someone who's been around for many chapters of your life, I have a memory of when this some misaddressed package came to you. Uh -huh. And the contents inside belonged to some poor fellow in Tennessee. Yeah, and I, I tried to track him down. I could never, I yeah. actually went there. You tried to track him down in a gas station <laughs> to buy it. <laughs> I gave it to the man by the counter while holding a pack of beer. And I, and I, I, I thought I was implicitly asking, is this yours? Are you? <laughs> Are you John Sieber from Tennessee? <laughs> but instead, but instead he, he just looked he at asked it, for my debit card. Gave it back. It asked for money, and I was like, "Man, okay, I <laughs> fuck, I guess." But he let me keep the gear here, so. <laughs> but I, I do actually have a Tennessee driver's license. I know. I remember. I Somewhere remember you on house. our trip. Oh, you gotta find it. I gotta find it, dude. <laughs> I Preceded by First Arena, home of. The Memphis Pharaohs. I mean, that's food for thought. That's food for thought. That makes you think. Yeah. You know? we're, 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 we're just asking we're questions. We're just here. asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just want to know the truth. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's no harm in the truth, right? We're going to have to do a little bit of digging on Mr. Ledbetter, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. I bet he was up to some shady shit. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go prepare ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that wow. is dark as fuck. Dim. <laughs> that guy on that screen, dim. <laughs> I had a fucking hilarious dream. There was like a slang word. Oh, give me that little guy. There was like a new slang word, and it was rind, like an orange rind. And people would say things were rind if they're like a little bit challenging, but not so bad, or something you like don't really like. Oh, I like that. Like, that's eh, yeah. kind of rind, yeah. you know? Yeah, like it, it has a ring to it. Yeah. It works. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like a little mix on mid. Like exactly. it's like a similar sort of genre. Exactly. Like, I, I yeah. don't really know what the exact application is, but it is, it, it is. Like, it, it will reveal itself. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's it's a, it's for like experiences. Like yeah. oh, this yeah. thing was yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Rhymed. It yeah. was whatever. You know. I think it's good. So we need to adopt. Like that how was how your day? Yeah, it was Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, like it's good. Yeah, it rubbed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, it was a little tough. Like it was like, a little rough, but yeah. it wasn't because like Ryan's like they're like a little bumpy. Exactly. But it's not like sandpaper. It's not like it doesn't grate. It's anymore. enough to have just a little bit of a moment, and mm -hmm. it's a little hard. It's a little hard to get through. Like an apple, no Ryan. You just no bite Ryan. right into yeah. it. Orange. Orange. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> I guess an orange is the most rind thing. That is. That's about as rind as you can get. I don't know. There's some like what are the, is it like a pomelo, where like the, oh, the rind are, is like oh, that the, thick. Yeah. That's a that's that's that's, 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 that's a hard rind. end of rind. Yeah. yeah. That's rind as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like our heads. Yeah. Have you actually seen the frame that we're working with? No. It's like we're in like the lower fifth of the fucking screen. <laughs> it looks that's great. I may have a more uncut version, <laughs> if you follow me. Well, you know us. We're the uh, we're Uncut Vermont, bro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Uncut Vermont podcast <laughs> today. Everybody got their foreskin. <laughs> Jimmy, what happened? Where'd it go? Exact measurement of the speed of light in a vacuum to nine digits. Three to 99.7 range of accuracy. We need to have really low accuracy. accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> Within like a 15% accuracy. Yeah, you get the idea. One more funny little piece to show you for the final act actual video. 0.1%, 140. Seven million kilometers. The ratio to its height. The Earth's circumference <laughs> of the equator. Third of a percent. Now, if you get the perimeter, multiply them by that number. The circumference and polar radius. Ninety-nine point three. Ninety-nine point seven metric tons. <laughs> What's the prompt question you asked it? If the pyramid were of the Bass Pro Shop, were built out of the same bricks as the pyramid of Giza used. Oh. How many bricks would it be? Because. 
I mean, the current incarnation that we see is the mm -hmm. modern Glass. representation yeah. of the original. Mm -hmm. And so I think that they, they calculate, they knew how many bricks, they knew how to build it the way that they built those pyramids. Oh, I see. And so they were sending a message. <clears throat> oh, with, in like the volume. Like how many, how many bricks, bricks would we need to stack up for it. Okay, so you asked ChatGPT <laughs> how to do that. Fuck, there's math here. There's a lot of math. Oh my god. To estimate the number of bricks for the, the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, we can use the Great Pyramid's dimensions for comparison. Okay, we're not gonna read the description. So Fuck no, okay. we don't need explanation volume, for this. Volume, uh, base, 127,588,000. 214.72. Do you think that's just an accident? Fuck no. That is it. Fuck no, that is not an accident, dude. Nothing is an accident. There, there's messages hidden everywhere, Henry. Give me that fucking number again. Wait, how do I even write this as a statistic? <laughs> <laughs> number of bricks. Number of equivalent bricks. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah. I'll even do a little hashtag to shorten it. Yeah, yeah. Number of equ equiv bricks. And then you do the, the little curly equals. One. 127, 588, 214.72. I wasn't sure if this was gonna go anywhere. Maybe there's not anything here, but when I saw that number. It's damning. I, I mean, you see it, right? I see it. It's, it's plain as day. <laughs> <laughs> Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. <laughs> Just a big red circle around that number. That's thumbnail. <laughs> that is going to the thumbnail, absolutely. 0. 0.72, like a huge circle around it. <laughs> wow, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Should write down like some other Earth's oh, constants. Just, yeah. Like yeah. speed Basic, of light, yeah. speed of sound. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I told you we were gonna call it constants. <laughs> Do you know how to record Constance screen Noble. on here? Oh, I think it's like one of the weird like command F4. You don't have any of the F keys? I do if I hold down <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, Apple nails a lot of things. That touch bar was stupid as fuck. I, I did some fun customizations. I could play little games on it. But then like <laughs> all of the things just really drained my battery. So I had like my CPU temps and like a bunch of useless information that I would never need. <laughs> that I could look at. But you could do it, but it's there. Instead of my function keys. Exactly. exactly. What am I doing? Wait, hey, you never... <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> you just got fucking distracted. Uh, control, control shift, shift four, four is a Is it maybe control shift five? Control shift five. Get fucked. It wasn't even an F key. Oh, record, record entire screen. screen. Sure does. And look. Hmm? Boom. I take it back. Boom. No, I take Boom. it back. The touch bar is worth it. It shows you how long you've been recording. Yeah, and That's I can a, stop That it. is a very useful... I use, like, it has Zoom call, like, things. Like, I can tap to, like, mute myself and leave. But I could see a use for that. Yeah. It's, it's like the little I mean, the dynamic there's, island. There's, it, it's there's, dumb as fuck, but I see an application. computers now that have gone a few generations that the screen opens up and there's another mini screen. And it's, like, long and wide. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's, he's orange. He's digging in the corner. Yes. <laughs> oh, little guy. Okay, anyway, the touch bar is amazing. Speed of light, we gotta have. Speed of light, just can't live without it. <laughs> Gets really dark once you start messing with that. 99,792,458 meters per second. Gonna really have to find a way to use a number that big. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking if we, if we can line up any set of three with any other <laughs> set of three, it doesn't need to be the whole number. That's good though. That's really good. <laughs> like, if any of these giant oh. random fucking numbers <laughs> Like, just a sequence of three fucking anywhere. Ask, ask ChatGVT what the most important numbers are. <laughs> Watch Mojo's top 10 list of the most important numbers. Oh, you never answered the question. I told you my number was the scenic view of the Mississippi <laughs> River, but what's your number? It hasn't, it hasn't materialized yet. I think, I, I think I'm gonna find my number tonight. You're not, yeah, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> You better find another fucking number tonight. Uh, if we that? end with that being your goddamn number, because that's pretty close. Any other day, that would be your number. I don't want categories of certain numbers. I want certain numbers. <laughs> exact numbers. In all those fields, which are the most important? <laughs> that's hilarious. Mathematical constants. We got pi. Oh. That's a big, that's, a, that's, that's important. Pi is an important thing. It doesn't actually say what any of these numbers are, so I'll need to okay. ask ChatGPT what pi we is. We can't take the pi thing too far because I only remember pi to like, I don't even know if one decimal, three. <laughs> <Go. laughs> three point one four one five nine eight two four. 
Is it gonna, can you, wait, can you ask ChatGPT <laughs> to recite every digit of pi? I want as many digits as you can recite. Oh, come on. That's fucking lame, dude. More. You can, <laughs> hey, give me more. <laughs> A lot more. <laughs> Okay, are you ready to write the first 500 digits of pi? <laughs> Wait, how did I do? 3.141592? Oh. I don't know, I'm kind of far, far down here. <laughs> Struggling. I, this is it, Henry. This is gonna oh, be- Oh, I think I saw a repeating pattern. <laughs> next video, we debug pi. <laughs> <laughs> Four next? That was gonna be my guess, but it was 50-50. 3.1415926. Fuck. Five. Okay. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Okay. Two, six, five. Two, six, five, three, five, eight. Okay, stop. Nine, <laughs> seven. <laughs> That's a good Patreon exclusive. Writing down <laughs> the first 500 <laughs> digits of pi. No, it's like a, it's an editor's clip cut of this <laughs> session, except you just don't stop writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the normal video, it just like does a sudden cut and the wall is just fucking covered. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through the different- Give me the list. I'll give you the Play list of uh, categories and you'll, you'll tell me, it'll be like Jeopardy. All right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, each category has three. Mathematical <laughs> constants for 3.141519. Historical dates. That's important. That's the first guy. Well, there's mathematical constants, and then we got historical dates, scientific constants, mm. economic indicators, personal identifiers. Okay, those aren't actual numbers. Can you ask it to give it's you like someone's GDP. social security number? <laughs> uh, physical constants. Oh. Geographical coordinates. Geographical coordinates. Ethical and moral values. Okay, those aren't, <laughs> those aren't numbers. Wait, whoa, hold on. Pause. Oh, no. ChatGPT can, can tell you objective morals. Well, it says the, the Ten Commandments, <laughs> the Five Pillars of Islam, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Those are the three, Those are the three big ones? Important numbers <laughs> <laughs> from ethical and moral values. I also think that historic dates is not something that would be super useful here, but I'm curious. What is the list of historic dates? Um, the year of the Declaration of the United States. Oh? Uh, the year of the Norman conquest of England and the end of World War II. Those are important, Those you know? Those seem important, yeah. <laughs> For scientific contents, it has the speed of light, the gravitational constant. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's What's the gravity? 1.81 meters per second squared. You just knew that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, 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 no. You just, what was it? That's it. Um, and then we got Planck's constant. Oh, oh, I like that guy. Max Planck okay. sinks the Bismarck. P-L-A-N-C. Um, C-K. It really yeah. is Planck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought he was like a cool well, French like, guy. I didn't know his, 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 he was named after like a trucker. That is not, wait, P L A N C K. Planck. 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 <laughs> Planck's constant. <laughs> Approximately. Uh huh. Six point. You're gonna get a little bit of space. <laughs> okay. Six point six two. Six zero seven zero one five times oh, like the x uh, ten to the negative thirty four joule seconds. J S. Big J S. Yeah. Big J S. Big J S. <laughs> that's that's a good nickname for you. Big J S. <laughs> and there's also physical constants if we wanted. There's <laughs> physical Avogadro's company. number. Oh, um, we gotta throw Avogadro's number up there, dude. Been asking for Avogadro's number for years. He won't <laughs> give it to me. Six point zero two two times 10 to the 23 particles okay. per mole. P, 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 <laughs> just write PPM. <laughs> Parts per million. <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck Avogadro's number. <laughs> it is now for measuring concentration. Can you imagine that number of parts per million? <laughs> Chat GPT, what is that number? <laughs> okay, 6.022 times 10 to the 17th. Okay, I never really thought about what the implications are of a parts per million that is much greater yeah, than I, a million. I, know, I was trying to kind of comprehend. If there is that many parts per million to another thing, you just measure that other thing, because yeah. that's the greater concentration. So you probably, if you move the decimal to the millions place, is that how that works? Because then you know that if it is, that number per a million of another thing, or per yeah. one of another thing. That's fucking with me, dude. Okay, I'm stopping there. Moving on. I feel like we have a good yeah. jumping off yeah. point. Okay. I think the circumference of the Earth could be a- Oh, be oh, a, honestly? Do you want this in kilometers or miles? <laughs> Fuck if I care. <laughs> 24,901 miles. Let's do some fucking research. This is already <laughs> the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, let's do some investigative journalism. So I guess there's kind of two sides of this. We should look at the actual structure where it is located, like mm -hmm. on a map. <clears throat> and sort of figure out like the physical traits from there. And then we can also do something with the calculations. <clears throat> I think we could start with Google Earth. Because we have... Actually, no. What's the address? One Bass Pro. <laughs> One. Or Bass Pro. Bass, Bass, oh, I wrote it down wrong. It is just Bass, Bass Pro Drive. Bass Pro. We don't want to have any misinformation <laughs> up there. <laughs> Only. Oh, look at that, dude. Gianfranco, eat your heart out. Look Ooh. at the fucking like sick edits we got going here. Look, we're swooping Ooh, in to the Bass yeah. Pro Shops Pyramid. I can turn, <laughs> look away from the Bass Pro <laughs> Shops Pyramid. Look at all those parking lots. Oh my God. Uh, Man, that's Look, awful. all those buildings used to fucking fit together. Holy shit. Dude, that is so, oh my so, God, oh my God it's just nothing. Fuck. That's awful. <laughs> yes, we fucked this place up so good. Damn. Are those columns? Like you'd see like outside of like a temple? I mean, Bass Pro, it's it's about the water, the fish. I mean, where would the fish enter if there's an entrance to the Bass Pro shop? It would, be, it would be as if the it, fish are entering into the temple. From from the mouth of the mighty Wolf River, River Harbor. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta write this down. Um, yeah. Can you get a post-it or, you know, something? Here. We, we have what are clear evidence of some sort of much older civilization's temple ruins yeah. right there on the water. Make a cameo. Louis, everyone loves you. Come on. You can go back to staring at that cabinet later. <laughs> Stick that up there. Stick that up there. We're just gathering evidence yep. right now. We're yep. the gathering we're just, evidence We're just state. asking questions. <laughs> we're just looking around. Nothing to see here, Nothing to folks. see. <laughs> Sir, why are you crawling are you around in the mighty Wolf guy? River Harbor? <laughs> Wait, is that actually a train line? Yeah. Okay. Does it have, I, it Does must it work? have a It has there, a right? little train symbol on it. That looks like an active rail line. That does. Okay, so you may have demolished your entire historic downtown, but at least also, there's functioning rail. Please, is there not a stop here? Yeah, why the why, fuck would if there? It, if it isn't a passenger rail, why isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and, and if it and is, if it is why, why is there, there a stop, stop at the Bass Pro at the Bass Pyramid? Shop when they have this much parking, there's I was about to say, well, demand. yeah, look, they have that much parking. They don't need a stop. Everyone has a car anyway. <laughs> Whew. There's really Outdoor. not a lot to take. Well, we can see a, a difference in structure here. We clearly have some sort of pyramid cap on it, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. likely made of a different material that yeah. suits my interests. Yeah, and I mean I, that could be. I mean, if you were to let me ask you this: if you were to place an antenna anywhere in a pyramid. I mean, being a rational kind of guy, I'd put it at the highest point. And what's the highest point of a pyramid? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to kind of start drawing some, some they're called ley lines, us in the business. It's mm -hmm. when, you know, there's yeah. multiple historic sites that are connected all around the world and it's part of something much greater because they all left it encoded for uh -huh. us, you know? Right. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment a little bit with a scientifically proven, uh, you know, fact of ley lines. Whoa, do we have jelly? Yeah. Dude, not yeah. right now. But I think I might fuck up a peanut butter and jelly later. Ooh. Look, no one said doing this was easy, okay? Yeah. It's thankless work, it's thankless work. If this was easy, people would be doing out this just like <laughs> out there willy-nilly with no effort required. We don't do this because it's easy. <laughs> we do it because it's right. <laughs> we can take a little step outside. Reignite the, uh, the brain juices. Spirit. I do, I feel like, I don't know, a little fresh air would help. Yeah, I agree. A little, a little fresh air fresh would air help. Would help. <laughs> okay. We're not doing anything too high. Actually, we're doing everything high. Because, <laughs> I mean, first, we know that there's obviously a connection, you know, between the lines of the um, Bass Pro Shops Pyramid and the one in Washington, D.C. The Washington Monument? 555, 555 feet. feet. Okay. Yeah. That's a little suspicious. That is. That is a very suspicious looking number. We're, we're doing it raw. All right. Uncut Vermont. <laughs> the Uncut Vermont podcast. I just noticed the third of these obelisks on this list. The Gateway Arch, 192 meters tall. Do you know what happened in 1992? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet GPT <laughs> does. What happened in 1992? What are some major events that happened in 1992? There was a presidential election in the US. Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's the height okay, of Okay, 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 okay. Walk me through this. Okay. The third obelisk on the list of the highest obelisks in the U.S. is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, if we add 555 feet to 192 <laughs> meters, we're getting somewhere. We're going. <laughs> you know what happened in 1992? <laughs> Bill Clinton was elected as the 42nd president of the United States. 
Where's the sticky notes? Here. Give me that. Oh. Put this on the board. Something tells me he's closer to Scott Beetle. <laughs> Led, be led better than anything else. <laughs> Begin to fall into place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just make sure there's nothing else that happened that's noteworthy. But then I, I think I have a lead. Just as Clinton, our boy Clinton over here, was getting into office. Do you know what was formed? The European Union. <laughs> We're onto something. We're onto something. I don't fucking know what. <laughs> as well as this is too easy. In 1992, not only President Lincoln, <laughs> President Clinton, elected to office, the EU was formed, collapsed with the Soviet Union. <laughs> It does say, while the process began in the late 18, 1980s, the dissolution of the Soviet Union continued in 1992, so... Oh. I don't know if this is the exact date that it ended, but... ChatGPT has it on the list, so... Okay, this is coming together. <clears throat> Henry, where's the red string? <laughs> Here, give me one. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. shit. Okay. There we go. Wow. Honestly, that ended up as string much more than I thought yeah, it was gonna that, be. It's all part of the plan, baby. I just have one question left at this at this juncture. In this in this fact finding phase, mm -hmm. what was Scott Ledbetter doing in 1992? <laughs> I almost googled something. I was no, I was no, close. What the fuck is wrong with you? As of my last update in January 2022, there is no widely known or public figure named Scott Ledbetter. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Who is notably active in 1992. Poor Scott, dude. Yeah. Okay, there's a chance this is a different Scott Ledbetter, but he was in Need for Speed. <laughs> wait, this is actually a great way of doing this. We run with this for a while, all we need to do is find a way to get to 1992, like, legit. Because that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of this is, is fucking, that's the fulcrum that holds all of this together. Yeah. Let's not act like that's good, and even by conspiracy standards. Because we could get that number. So mm -hmm. we need to see what happens if we actually connect all these points on the map to see what the secret code is that's hidden in it, you know? Mm -hmm. St. Louis. Where is the arch? I will type arch into the search bar. There we go. Okay, explain to me how I went to St. Louis, Missouri, typed in arch, and it brought me to whatever the fuck this is. We got all three of our points of interest marked. This is That's what we're our working pyramid. With. Whoa. Those are on a pretty similar line, actually. St. Louis and Memphis. Like, if you went, wow. you know. Can you find the um, coordinates of the St. Louis arch? 38.62512, negative 90.18675. Wait, hold on. That's really fucking close. That's really fucking close. That's really fucking close. How do we make this into a tangible number? <clears throat> so, how close are they? Can we draw like a latitude line? Yeah, I guess you could subtract and figure out by how many degrees they're off. They are off by 0. 0.1 degrees. Wow. Wow. Point 0.1 degrees. <clears throat> That's okay. Holy shit. Wow. There is something. There is something happening here. How do we put this up? Okay, well, okay. things are starting to develop now. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing some red herrings here. We yeah. can come back to them. We can come back to them. They're them on there. the side. But right now, we have a lead and we need to run with it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Is this? Yeah. And now we have the arch. Okay. Trust me. Okay. That's what okay, it looks that's like. Okay, that's going to be the top, top left. All right. And then we have the Washington Monument. Well, I'll arrange these yeah, yeah, kind of as it, as it is call, in the US. Good call, good call. Between these two, a 0.1 degree difference, which is negligible. Negligible, I mean, negligible. statistically insignificant. What do we do with this? We research, <clears throat> Henry. We research. We need to know more about this arch. Give me some stuff about the arch. Okay, I'm opening chat GPT. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Let me check, I'll check the wiki for the base info. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT for the wiki information. <laughs> what what info do we, construction dates? Why don't you give us some of those? Just, just okay. rattle them off. Okay. We're just asking questions. We're just asking questions, we're just collecting data. The groundbreaking was February 12th in 1963. It was completed October 28th, 1965. It was inaugurated June 10th, 1967. That is Wow. Three shots and making a date mean something. Wow. Its height is also its width, which makes sense because it's an arch, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an appropriate application of wow. So we know that there is... We don't have to explain the point 
one degree off any further. What the fuck am I talking about? That's enough. It can just be one point. Yeah. We know that they're significant because they are that close. Yeah. Now we go from there. We're done with lines. We've proven that there is a, a, There's a correlation. There's a connection. We've made a connection. They are less than 0. 0.1. Or, yeah. Sorry. A little bit more than 0. <laughs> Less than 0. 0.2. Feels like a room that would have scissors in it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's around, and then I messed up. The <laughs> and then we got 0. 0.1, and that's degree. Wow. <laughs> I... <laughs> Another excellent use of the word wow. <laughs> We're on to something. <laughs> Just asking questions. <laughs> I wish we could find more on Scott Ledbetter. We're going to put him in the corner. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> better. Come back when you have more to say. <laughs> we need another connection. We need a third point. We need to find another solid link. We don't really. We already found that. I mean, that's enough. <laughs> but that alone could be a coincidence. If we find, if we find this to here. If we find this to here and that to that, would be that would be that's that's airtight. <laughs> QED. Okay. <laughs> Proven. That line is that straight. That means this line is also really straight because that's a right angle then. Yeah, coordinates for the coordinates Washington Monument. Coordinates for the Washington Monument. Monument. What are we doing? How are we supposed to ask questions about the coordinates for the Washington <laughs> Monument? Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. <laughs> this first number might sound kind of familiar to you. Don't tell 38. Thirty-eight point eight eight nine four eight. Put the other one before we get ahead of ourselves. I don't know. I think I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna delve into it, but man. But that's it's ringing a bell. That's yep. Okay. Saying. Okay. We're just asking questions. Negative seventy-seven point zero three five two seven. I just I'm gonna ask a question here, Siri. What is three point seven three? But what about for these two? That's uh, from this. That's this line. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we know that they're they're very close. I mean, it is, it, you, I mean you were honestly kind of onto something when you said it's a right angle because this line is basically straight. I mean, that's like less than two. Okay, more than two. More than two, <laughs> more than point two of a degrees yeah. of difference. Yeah. Yeah. And this, as you can see clearly <laughs> on this note, is about 0.1 degree of difference. Why is there a right angle made between these two lines when you're connecting the arch, the monument, to the pyramid. I think that honestly the arch might be the more important thing here. I think we tried to go for the small fish. Yeah. We accidentally stumbled on the whole damn herd of them. <laughs> In all honesty though, that is kind of wild. That is I was not wild. expecting to find anything that good. Yeah. Like it's not much, but that is like a right angle. That's like a right angle. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there is no reason why we would be connecting these three things. I swear to God, if we actually, one in a bajillion chance, we yeah. actually find something here. <laughs> we have established that this forms a perfect right triangle. Put the string. Put the string. Here's some string. Mm. You need to cut it. Here's uh, some kitchen scissors <laughs> and some thumbtacks. Mm. We know that's a triangle. If one thing is for certain, we should we should label this connection. Stretch them. The police. <laughs> Stretch them. <'em. laughs> this for here mm -hmm. is 0. 0.264. If you round that, that's about that's about 0. 0.2 degrees off. 0. 0. 0.3 wasn't the right. That was for this to this. Oh, okay. Wait. So that really? Yeah, they're like about as. Statistically insignificant is that. We are okay. asking. In the questions. new labels, I think this one was a little closer to 0.2 as well. I think they. Wait, really? That's actually kind of fucking weird. Where do we have the other calculator? That's from this to this. Okay, okay so... so now we can write down all the information okay. about them there. Wow. 240 miles exactly. 710 miles. Damn, that actually is kind of whack. Damn. 763. We got all the distances between all the, the monuments. And then here, this is the longitude of the. Bass Pro Shops. Shops, and then the Washington Monument, or the difference between the, the two. Ah. And then same with the Gateway Arch and the Washington Monument for the latitude. Damn. That negligible. That is negligible. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. Uh, yeah, it's the straight Zero one. Point 0.1. Yeah. Degree. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're asking questions, and this one's 0 0.2. Yeah. Those are the nice round ones, because they're on the straight line, but now we get to this one, the problem child. We got yeah. this line. I mean, this on its own, already a lot. Yeah. But clearly, there's something going on there. <laughs> well, if we have the distances of all of them, we can get the angles. Oh. Like, do a triangle calculator. Oh, shit. Pretty close to a 90 degree That's angle. That's pretty close that to a 90 degree. When you think about it, walk it off. We're making big moves here, all right? It, it's hard for your brain to get this big. You need yeah. to let off some steam every once in a while. Yeah. I think we're trying to over-explain. 
mm -hmm. which is what nerds and scientists do. Mm -hmm. And we don't do that. This is enough. You already have an almost perfect right triangle. We have these numbers. We already have a shape. Now that we have this, we have to figure out what it means. We could look at what's inside the triangle. Let's have a look. And okay. also, I think we should we should just see what's in the area, too. See what's in the area. We got, we got the map. I like it. Okay. Louisville. Louisville. What's Isn't that where the world's biggest bat baseball? is? Oh, my God. The Louisville Slugger? The Louisville Slugger. I think we're finding oh what my we God. bargained for. Where is it? Okay, what are the coordinates of the Louisville <laughs> Slugger? <laughs> look at, uh, they start figuring out stuff about the Louisville <laughs> Slugger, Henry. We're getting close. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> God. There we go, everyone. The Louisville Slugger. Did you Google that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what fucking year is it, Henry? 2022? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, give me all the important information. The big bat is a 120 foot tall baseball bat shaped structure located at the outside the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. He's um, like Babe it, Ruth. It weighs approximately 68,000 pounds well, in 1995. Yeah. Okay. That's, so that is right around when the Bass Pro Shop was. It was within five <laughs> years. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was five years afterwards. That is right at the end of a four year period. Do you know what happens in four year periods? No. <laughs> Bill <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's a lot faster than that. So Bill Clinton was president when the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid was built, right? Was he that? was, no, he was, oh. Oh, 1992. 1992. Wait, no. Yeah. 1992 is four years. 1992. Four years after 1992 is 1990. 1995. <laughs> God. Hey, when was Bass Pro built? Renovations opened. 1991, with the mysterious renovation, still worth keeping that in the play here, we don't know what that's yeah. gonna be. November 2011 to April 2015. Okay, so 1991, so your, your thing still works, what were you saying, 1992, 1991, 1995. 1995. <laughs> the Bass Pro Shop opened. One year later, Bill Clinton <laughs> becomes president. Coincidence? Uh, I do not think so. <laughs> and then just three years later, <laughs> he could do his presidency. The Louisville Slugger gets built. Now, what does that, that tell you? That is a a cause and effect <laughs> situation. This kicked off the the whole Bill Clinton thing. <laughs> oh God! There is totally going to be a picture of Bill Clinton in this thumbnail. It's <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> happening. We go. Let's let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Big picture. Big, Big picture. picture. Big bat. <laughs> so let's just walk through what we have so far. Okay. So. We started by going for the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, not knowing that it was part of a larger, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's part of something larger than yeah. itself. And so we accidentally stumbled onto this whole thing where we found that these are all connected, forming a triangle with the degrees being, with the, the distances being less than a degree off. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. We know that near the center <laughs> of this triangle is Louisville, Kentucky, home to another iconic American monument, <laughs> the Louisville Slugger. Now, Bill Clinton... <laughs> Gets elected. I feel like, okay, if we're gonna bring dates into this, we gotta figure out a little bit more. Which sucks, I don't wanna do it. Yeah, okay, we okay, okay, okay. okay, yeah, we do, we do. We can't <laughs> Scientific just, method. We can't go jumping to collisions here. The president was for that one, I'm gonna get the date that the Washington Monument was built, and then we can figure out the president for that. Go! <laughs> wow, that hit me like a ton of bricks. I Google Washington Monument construction date, and the first words I read, const read are construction of the Washington Monument began in 1848 with enslaved Africans <laughs> as laborers. <laughs> okay, so maybe we don't do that. <laughs> this is the founding fathers' yeah. link. This is like Old Testament United States. These were built in homage to that. You know, this was dedicated on like July 4th, like 1840 or something. We're just asking questions. <laughs> we have this, we and have that. you want to know who president? Who was the president? 1963, <laughs> John F. Kennedy. We, I mean, we already know from from everything that the Kennedys are involved in Mind so blowing. many things. Mind blowing. JFK, this is enough. We got we got something happening yeah. here. Can we get a connection here? Not really. He kind of he kind of died after <laughs> 1963. <laughs> what did Bill Clinton do in 1995? Well, I mean, I think the obvious connection here is this is less than a year before Bill Clinton was elected president. This was built right before Bill Clinton was elected yeah. president. We're gonna just say Bill Clinton. <laughs>
Yep. Okay, so we got a good list going. Things that happened while Bill Clinton was serving as president oh, in 1995. Oh, that's a long <laughs> list. Uh-oh. We first got the Oklahoma City bombing. Strong. Uh, Watch just top 10 list of things that happened while Bill Clinton was president. Wait, wait, wait. There might be something that I... I need to get my computer charger because I, there was something I glanced over in one of the other responses. I think it was a date that the Bosnian War started. No. And in 1995, Bill Clinton helped negotiate the Dayton Agreement, which ended the Bosnian War. The same year as the Louisville Slayer was <laughs> built. <laughs> You're damn right. We are so, so on to something. Everything, everything's pointing to 1992. So we just got to find how to get to 1992. We just, we just need a solid connection between... Honestly, a solid connection between this, because all of these things are pointing to that. So this should be the thing that lasers into that. This, we thought this was the big picture. This was just the cornerstone. Little did we know, there were bigger fish to fry. There were bigger bats to fry. <laughs> we haven't even started on the big bat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look into Scott Ledbetter a little bit. Yeah. I'm curious just to see where it takes us. Do a little bit of, a little, little, little bit of digging. digging. There's not even a Wikipedia page. Wow. Reddit unsolved murders. What happened to Caitlin Ledbetter? <laughs> There's no way. There's okay, no let's... way. 26 year old Caitlin Ledbetter was living in Turkey Town Road in Hillam, Tennessee with her father, Scott Ledbetter. Is that the same guy? Tennessee. Scott Ledbetter. Wait. <laughs> she had a job and was in a long term relationship with her boyfriend, Dustin. I mean, Scott sometimes tried to claim that Caitlin's girlfriend, Crystal, got into an argument and Caitlin jumped out her five to seven foot high bedroom window. Scott Ledbetter's home, which was on fire. The house is completely destroyed and Scott's girlfriend, Crystal Tyson, was found dead in the basement. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow! I think, as much as I want to commit to the bit, I think just out of respect for this, I think we need to take Scott yeah. better off of here. I can't do that. Yeah. Oh my god! Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> okay! Whoa! What the fuck? Let's go back to the Louisville Slugger. We're gonna let the actual conspiracy theorists dig into that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here to talk about the baseball bat. <laughs> We've gotta find the, con the connections there. The idea to build the bat could have been formed earlier. I wonder if there's any events in Louisville, Kentucky in 1992. KFC Yum. <laughs> KFC Yum Center construction began at the KFC Yum Center. Okay, the Louisville Cardinals did pretty good in 1992. <laughs> Elections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that did happen yep. in 1992. Natural disasters. All we need to do is connect this to that and let let the just asking questions do the rest. Yep. This is yep. enough. This is gold. The, yeah, the cat is out of the bag. Yeah. yeah. Does the Bosnian War connect them? 1995. Was 1992 to 1995. We're gonna pin that. There's something there. Maybe it's something else in Louisville. I mean, the Yum Center, after the, all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is right on the Ohio River. The Ohio River flows from Louisville, Kentucky to Memphis. Flows into the Mississippi River at Cairo. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, asking questions. Asking See what questions. When you I ask know. Questions? This is why they don't want you to ask questions. It was built by that company, right? The the company that makes makes the Louisville Slugger. We don't know anything about them yet. I mean, they're, they're the ones who on decided it. in 1995 to construct the Louisville Slugger. The final piece of the puzzle. This to this. I just I just learned some interesting information. I asked some questions. <laughs> To ChatGPT in particular. <laughs> and I learned, I learned. 1992, Hillrich and Bradsbury Company, the manufacturers of the famous Louisville Slugger, celebrated the 100th anniversary of the brand, the Louisville Slugger. Smoking gun. Smoking gun. It does not get more conclusive than that. I mean, the pieces just fall into place. That's the thing is when you ask the questions and you don't stop asking the question till you have an answer, the answer will always present itself. Yeah. <laughs> Holy My shit. God. And I mean, from there, it just, I mean, the, the dominoes just fall. Yeah. You don't even you, need us to say anything. You, you don't even need to ask questions. the questions. The test. <laughs> <laughs> the information is out there. <laughs> if you do your own research. <laughs> I say we put this stuff down and we do our final presentation. Yeah, let's prepare. Let's prepare. Okay. All right, after a long and tedious uh, thinking, after a long and tedious <laughs> thinking process, we're ready to present our findings. We just need to do one last preparation. 
<laughs> you can leave here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that thing reminds me of Pawtucket so much. We are ready to present our findings. <clears throat> <laughs> Holy shit. So when we started out, we were asking some questions. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't know what we would stumble upon or which piece of the puzzle we would find. As, as you frequently so often, yeah. you know? But you need a jumping off place. So we started with the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid and what we uncovered, they don't want you to know. Yeah. They do not want you to know about this. So really astonishing. we found that if you connect the Bass Pro Shops pyramids to other, uh, the, the, the two other major uh, U.S. You know, iconic monuments, the, you know, the Washington Monument and the St. Louis Arch, it forms what? Look at how far we've fallen. Here, here we are. The two other great U.S. monuments that everyone <laughs> thinks about first. The Washington Monument <laughs> and the St. Louis Arch. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, first. No, they're obelisks. They're obelisks. They're obelisks. And so obviously they have a connection. So we obviously started with the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid because there's a lot going on there and we wanted to ask some questions. So we connected it to, you know, another sort of monument uh, in the same scale as the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, which is obviously, you know, right in plain sight, the Washington Monument mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. Now, oddly, if you were to create a almost perfect acute triangle, it would form, it would fall almost exactly on the St. Louis Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Now, the distance Holy in shit. degrees of these two coordinate lines, this one is 0.1 degrees off, and that is just around 0.2 degrees off. Like, those numbers, they don't happen by accident. No, those are, that's statistically insignificant. It's statistically insignificant, exactly. Yeah. And from there, I mean, the obvious next step is to figure out what is at the center of this triangle. Mm -hmm. And sort of near the center is <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, wow. The Louisville Slugger. The world's largest bat. <laughs> that is statistically insignificant. I just saw something. What do you get if you double that? 240. 240. Dude, it all makes sense. Where's the fucking red string? <laughs> and uh, this is what I mean. When you ask the questions, the answers present themselves yeah. to you. Now, from here, Henry? The Louisville Slugger was built by... <laughs> a famous American bat making company. <laughs> Who, in the year of 1992, they celebrated their 100th anniversary of the Louisville Slugger brand. Mm -hmm. The 100th anniversary of this bat, the iconic American bat. Seen pictured here. <laughs> used by Babe Ruth himself. Had its 100th anniversary in 1992. Yeah, and I mean, what more do you need to connect it than that? That was when this was constructed. And from there, I mean, the links, the lists just go on and on. I mean, this was completed probably around one year before Bill Clinton was elected president of the United States of America. And this bat was constructed while Bill Clinton was still in office. And from there, again, with the election date in 1992, the, it's watertight. I mean, I mean from there, <laughs> the, cat, the cat's out of the bag at yeah. that point. Like, a lot of very powerful people. I mean, we don't want to talk too much. We started with but, monuments that are commemorating great times, great shifts of power. Yeah. I mean, the Washington Monument, like that is the a symbol Washington Monument. of American- Dedicated on the 4th of July, no yeah. less. What is commemorating this monumentous year of 1992? The Louisville Slugger Bat. <laughs> Which is why they built it in 1990. Well, it took them a while to finish the construction. The answers are right in front of your face. All you gotta do, ask some questions, Get some answers. Get some answers. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs>